What up, Internet? This is Chris coming at you from MathMeaning.com. And before you get started with this video, I just want to let you know that we do offer live tutoring from the comfort of your own computer, full detailed homework solutions for any math assignment, and there is a complete list of all the free math videos that I've made that you can watch. All of this is at MathMeaning.com. Once again, MathMeaning.com. Um, in the meantime, I hope you enjoy this video and take care. Hey, everybody. Welcome again to another one of my calculus videos. I'm going to teach you how to solve related rates um, using a classic ladder against a wall problem. Um, so let's just dig right into this example. And it says a 20 foot ladder is leaning against a wall. And the base of the ladder is sliding away at 6 feet per second. And what it's asking us is how fast is the top of the ladder sliding down the wall when the base of the ladder is 12 feet from the wall? And these related rate problems seem really intimidating and really difficult at first. Uh, but if you draw a picture and you actually understand uh, what's going on, uh, these problems you'll find out are uh, much easier than you expect. Um, so that brings us to our first step. Our first step is to always draw a picture. And as you can see, I wrote all the steps for you on the right hand side of the screen in red. Um, and it says number one is always draw a picture. And I drew a picture for you on the left hand side. Uh, I drew a picture of a ladder in green um, and it's leaning against uh, the wall. And I also drew uh, two arrows in blue uh, signifying that the arrow is falling down, uh, sliding down against the wall. And then I also drew, drew another arrow in blue over here uh, signifying that the ladder is also uh, sliding sideways uh, along the ground. And when you draw your picture, it is really important to label all your units. Okay, um, and we know from the directions that this ladder is 20 feet long. Okay, um, so when the ladder slides down against the wall or against the ground, uh, we know that the ladder is never going to change distance. It's always going to stay the same length. Um, so we can just put that the length of the ladder is 20. I'm going to be lazy and not put my units, so I just put 20 instead of 20 feet. And we know that the distance from the bottom of the ladder all the way to the wall is always changing because the ladder is sliding to the left. Um, so since this distance is always changing, um, I'm just going to label it as x. And we know that the distance from the top of the ladder uh, to the ground is always changing as well. Uh, because you can see from the arrow that the ladder is moving down. Uh, since this distance is always changing, we don't really know what it is. I'm just going to label it as y. And we know that as the time changes, that this ladder is moving to the left, or moving in the x direction. Uh, so since this ladder is moving in the x direction, uh, this arrow uh, can be symbolized as dx. That means that it's moving in the x direction and it's changing as time goes on so it changes with time so I'm gonna put DT and the T represents time. Uh, so this DX DT represents how fast the ladder is moving to the left in the X direction and that is actually given to us uh, in the problem it says that it's moving uh, away or sliding on the ground at six feet per second. And once again I'm gonna be lazy and leave out my units and this arrow pointing down represents how fast the ladder is moving down in the y direction. Um, so since it's moving down in the y direction, we can put a dy. And since, it's, and since it changes with respect to time, uh, we can put a dt with the t representing time. So this dy dt represents how fast the ladder moves down in the y direction with respect to time and that is not given to us and this is actually what we're trying to find out so I'm gonna put a question mark. So now let's move on to step number two which is find an equation. Uh, the equation for this particular problem uh, can be found pretty easily the only thing we have to do um, is use the Pythagorean theorem because notice we have a perfect right triangle um, so if you use the Pythagorean theorem uh, we know that x squared plus y squared is equal to 20 squared. So now we move on to step number three. Step number three is use implicit differentiation with respect to time. 
And basically what that means is we just need to take the derivative of this equation and always do it with respect to time. So the derivative of 2x, <clears throat> I'm sorry, the derivative of x squared is just 2x. And since we just took the derivative of an x, I'm going to put a dx and always do it with respect to time, so dx over dt, plus the derivative of y squared. Uh, the derivative of y squared is just 2y. Since we just took the derivative of a y term, we have to put dy, and we always do it with respect to time, so we always put it over dt, is equal to uh, the derivative of 20 squared, and the derivative of a constant is always 0. So now let's move on to our last step, which is plug and chug. And if we go back to what the problem asks us, it asks us how fast is the ladder moving down the wall when the base is equal to 12 feet. Um, so the base of the ladder is, is 12 feet from the wall. Um, so we know that our x is equal to 12. So if we just use the Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus y squared equals 20 squared. We know that our x is equal to 12 because our, that's given to us in the problem. 12 squared plus y squared is equal to 20 squared. And if we solve for y, we get a y is equal to 16. Uh, so we know that our y is equal to 16. We have an x is equal to 12. And we also know that our dx dt which is how fast the base of the ladder is sliding away, is equal to 6. Once again, that was given to us at the, uh, in the beginning of the problem. So let's plug this all into our formula. First we have 2 times x, which we know our x is equal to 12, times dx tt, our dx tt we know is 6, plus 2 times y, our y we know is 16, our dy dt is what we're trying to find, so we'll just leave that the same, is equal to zero. Two times 12 times six is equal to 144, plus 32 dy dt is equal to zero. If you subtract 144 and divide by 32, you get dy dt is equal to negative 144 over 32, um, and that can be simplified to negative 9 over 2. Our dy dt, which is how fast our ladder is moving in the y direction with respect to time, is equal to negative 9 over 2 feet per second. And remember, you always have to keep your units the same. Uh, pretty much that means that the ladder is moving down at 9 over 2 feet per second. So I hope this problem gave you a better understanding of related rates. Um, there are some problems that are a bit more complicated, um, so if you need any extra help uh, with live tutoring or homework solutions, uh, please go to my website at mathmeeting.com. Uh, once again, mathmeeting.com. Uh, once again, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and take care.